The Korean government is up in arms about remarks made by a top Japanese official in which he suggested re-examining Tokyo's 1993 apology for the Japanese military's use of sex slaves during World War II. Our Kim Hyun bin reports. In 1993, Japan's then Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kono apologized for the tens of thousands of women that were forced into sexual slavery during World War II. But on Thursday, Tokyo's current Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga said the Japanese government will re-examine the so-called Kono statement to verify the accuracy of interviews given by Korean women who said they were forced to serve as prostitutes for Japan's wartime military. We will assemble a team of government officials and experts to re-examine the 1993 statement from an academic standpoint. Seoul has condemned Tokyo for making moves to take back its apology and disregard its imperialistic past and historical wrongdoings. Unlike Japan, Germany has made and continues to apologize for its wartime atrocities and compensates victims to this day. In a separate issue, Korea has slammed the Japanese government's plan to hold its controversial Takashima Day ceremony on Saturday, an attempt to claim Korea's Tokto Island as their own. Takashima is the name Japan uses for Tokto Island. Korea's foreign ministry has also slammed Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's plans to send cabinet members to the annual event. The Korean government is calling on Japan to cancel the ceremony, but Tokyo has dismissed Seoul's demand, saying the celebration does not concern other nations. Korea reclaims sovereignty over its territory, including Tokto and many other islands around the Korean peninsula, upon its independence from Japanese rule in 1945. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.